Welcome to Meadow Hair Cottage and the first card in my monthly series of flowers and fairies. I have chosen a delicate design of daisies and Queen Anne's lace for this card and made sure there were fairies as well. As a beautiful sentiment, may your birthday be filled with surprises, delights and every kind of joy. And I have covered it in glitter paste and I have painstakingly outlined the happy birthday in glitter paste as well so that it sparkles. I stamped the daisy design on masking paper so that I could use it to protect the stamped image while stamping the Queen Anne's lace. So when removing the mask image the Queen Anne's lace looks as if it is growing behind the daisies. I stamped an extra image of the daisies on a scrap piece of card and then swatched colours out on them to see which of the designs I preferred for this card. They all look rather beautiful but I chose the white daisies with a soft pink blush around the edges colouring the central daisy a little darker in order to add a sense of perspective. I did find with my scrap card that stamping the Queen Anne's lace in black was far too strong for the image. So for the final card I have stamped the Queen Anne's lace in a chalk green and orchid permanent ink. I coloured the stamp before I stamped it and it has given a beautiful soft effect. And as the theme of this month's card could be flowers or fairies, I decided to go for both. And so here they are, the dancing dandelion fairies that I have used in other cards. I have used a soft blue permanent ink for the happy birthday and sentiment, which was so beautiful that I wanted to have that on the front of the card. Inside the card, I have stamped another sentiment, Have a beautiful day, which seemed to match the lovely flowers, and framed it using a lovely metal stencil and using permanent inks. The back of the card, as usual, has the handmade stamp, which I've signed, and a little fairy. It is quite a busy card, but I think the soft colours are very forgiving and the flowers look very pretty. The birthday card is for a dear friend and I hope that she will like it. I have used vibrant ink watercolour pencils to colour the flowers and the leaves, using a water brush to soften the edges and draw water up towards the colour and so the bright colour flows gently along the petal. I stamped the daisies in bright emerald green so it would be softer and add a slight green tinge to the daisy petals. And then I overstamped it with glitter paste. leaving the Queen Anne's lace in the background in simple permanent inks. The glitter paste also framed the petals, which helped while I was adding the ink watercolour pencils. The second card for September's theme of flowers and fairies features sweet pea flowers and a little group of golden fairies. I have stamped the sweet peas in pink permanent ink and embossed them with clear embossing powder. I have embossed the sweet pea tendrils in gold fine detail embossing powder. For the leaves and the stems of the sweet peas, 
I have used ink watercolour pencils. I wanted to create a dappled effect for the sweet pea petals and with that in mind I have painted the petals with mica pixie powders and water and they shine very well. I also felt that the flowers needed more of a 3D effect so I have shaded them with blendable pencils and outlined the embossed edges. I have used Distress Ink Tumble Glass blended into the background and as before I have used masking paper to protect the flower heads while I blended the background. I wasn't sure which colour fairies would look best in the card so I cut out several of them, pinks and deep pinks and the gold, but decided that the gold was the prettiest and I die cut the dancing group of fairies from card that I had coloured with Sandcastle Gold Metallic Gilding Polish. I had hoped that the mica powders would give the petals more of a variegated effect. But they haven't quite worked as I intended, but have given a beautiful metallic shine to the flower heads. And the clear embossing powder has protected the flower heads and leaves while using the wet mica powder. The fine detail gold embossing powder has worked very well for the delicate tendrils. Although the design is relatively simple, it did take a lot of products and a lot of time to combine them all and to achieve the 3D effect. I use rubber stamps for the flowers and attempted to blend the mica powders. Thank you for joining me today and I hope that you like these two cards in September's theme of Flowers and Fairies. I hope you will join me again for the next cards in my monthly theme series. Goodbye.